Hey guys, it's great to see you. So I'm always wanting to showcase all the latest and newest mods for Assetto Corsa on the channel and today I've gone back to PP filters as I'm showing three filters that I've not shown in their present guise on the channel before. So I'm going to be showcasing the Rusty PP filter, Adam Soul Enhanced version 3 and also Clutch's new Next G PP filter and I'm going to give you some comparisons and let you guys make your mind up what you want to download and install on your Assetto Corsa. While you are here, do remember to check out the rest of the channel and if you do like what you see, I'd love to have you on board. I have lots of sim racing videos every single week, so remember that subscribe button. And guys, membership is live, so if you do want custom emojis, the membership vlog and getting your name on one of these videos as well as other different perks, then do check out the join button and clicking on that button will get you involved in the Assetto Corsa engineers. Today, as well as showcasing these great PP filters, I'm also going to be showcasing this Honda Prelude 2 litre SI from 1988. So this is by Jake Grafton. Now I'm a real sucker for 80s cars and I've actually sat and driven in one of these cars before and I think this is a great model. So what better way of showcasing it than with these great PP filters. And I absolutely know I used to have one of those stereos. It's really great looking at all the details that the guys put into this. And also the track that I'm on today is the Tejo Hill Climb 1.2 and that's by Rafa Sanchez and both of those links are in the description below. All of the initial gameplay is using the Soul Extra PP filter which is really my go-to but let's check out the first of the new filters so this is the Rusty PP filter. To give you guys a good comparison when looking at these PP filters I'm running the same replay with exactly the same graphical setting so the only thing that's changed here is the PP filter. Also what I'm not doing is changing any of the INI files. So some of these PP filters come with different files that will tweak some of the graphic settings. So these are all the standard settings. Now I will drop a download link for all of these PP filters in the description and then you can pick and choose what you would like to install. Speaking to Rusty about their filter, there was three main goals when designing this. The first is that it's forwards and backwards compatible. So whether you're upgrading or downgrading, you're not going to get any problems with this filter. The second is that it's unobtrusive so when it comes to glare and tone mapping it's all very neutral and there are some slight changes at the beginning and end of the day but that just enhances the experience. And the third was to perform, this will perform on any modern rig. So that is the rusty PP filter. Next up is Adam's enhanced Soul 3.0. So straight away looking at this footage you can see there's a very different kind of feel to the graphics and I do still think it's amazing the way that filters change the graphics and the look of your Assetto Corsa. So speaking to Adam, realism is a real key part to what he's done on his filter. And this is realism, not necessarily how we would look at it as gamers, but actually how our eyes would look at the scene in reality. So a big piece of this is perceived brightness. So if you look on this gameplay, the sun is actually brighter and there is a different kind of glare. And depending on what day settings you've got, the sun brightness, the sky brightness, the colors and the color of the sky are all brought to the screen the best way possible. Using this color correction, contrast values and shadow opacity, as well as RGB levels, hue, gamma and brightness, this means that there is hardly any performance hit as well using this filter. All of these filters are great and that's the beauty of the mods on Assetto Corsa. You can choose which one you like. The next filter we're going to look at is Next G. Now Next G is actually designed and released by Clutch. So I've spoken about Clutch a couple of times on other videos where I've covered PP filters. And actually the Clutch filter is one of my go-tos when I'm taking screenshots, especially for my thumbs. The Next G filter is Clutch's new project and I'm sure you'll agree this looks absolutely fantastic as do all the filters on this video. So this is all personal preference, it's all subjective, I'm not going to tell you which one's the best. I know that I've used all of these different filters and other filters that are featured on the channel at different times and day on night races and depending what I'm trying to capture. The one thing you will notice with this video, especially if you've watched my other filter videos, is that I've not done any comparison stats on frames per second or render. That's because when I tested all of these off camera, there was virtually no performance hit across all of the filters. Your main graphic settings and of course all of the settings that you may have in CSP through Content Manager, they're the ones where you're going to get all of your frames per second. So do check out the rest of the videos on my channel where I do go through some of those in quite a lot of detail, especially the CSP settings. 
Let's take a look then at all three filters featuring on this gameplay where I'm chasing down this Toyota AE86 and it was great fun on this fantastic track. I'd also love to know in the comments which filters you're using at the moment and what you think to these three different filters, that would be fantastic for the modders. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed looking at those three filters and I have got all the download links in the description below. I am going to be covering more filters so do let me know in the comments what you'd like me to cover and why. Thank you so much for watching today and spending some of your time on this video. And thank you for all the continued support for the channel. As I get to 5,000 subscribers, I am going to be doing a face reveal so keep an eye out for that. It won't be long hopefully. And then I'll be releasing more videos on the tech that I'm pulling together to continue my sim racing journey. And I'll be bringing you guys on board on that journey too. Thank you again for watching guys and I'll see you very soon.